After your students have completed their assessment and grading is in process, you have the opportunity to leave them some important feedback to help with their overall outcomes and learning experience. In order to give feedback, you can do this to any student and for any question. You're simply going to click into their assessment and next to each of the questions, you're going to see the option under the grading category that says add feedback. In order to be able to do this, you're going to click on this link and it's going to open up a new box for you, which is going to give you three options that you can use in providing feedback to your students. You can put in text and images right below in this field here, and you can use, also use any of the formatting tools available up top. If you ever wanted to insert a picture, you could do that by clicking on the picture icon, and it's going to let you search your computer for a picture that you would like to add into there. You also have the option to add some audio feedback and all you would need to do is click on the red record button and it's going to start recording. And this is going to let your students listen to your feedback. You have the same option for working with video so your students would be able to not only hear you but see an image of you. And you would do that by pressing on record. Once you're all done with that, you can save your feedback and you're going to see in the question that this is going to show up in this blue box below. If at any point you wanted to delete the feedback, you could click on the trash can icon. And if you ever wanted to go and edit this, you could make any edits that you found necessary. Once you have finished giving all of your feedback and going through all of your students' responses and you want your students to be able to view their results, you're going to need to go back to your assessment setup and change one of the features. So you're going to go back into your assessment and you're going to need to click on the setup tab. And all the way down at the bottom, you're going to see the student settings. And what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to change this where it says allow students to view results after an attempt is submitted. By default, this is set to no, which means after the students take their assessment, they're not going to be able to see how they did. When you are ready for your students to view their results, you're going to come down here and change this to either yes, you want them to view their results, or yes, with the correct answers. This is going to also allow them to see the feedback that you've provided them. So once you've switched the setting, you're going to click Save. So now over here, I'm looking at what my student would see. You can see that I'm signed in as a student here, and I've already taken this assessment as the student, and now I am, have the ability, once I go back into this, to view my results. When I click on the view link, it's going to open up my assessment, and it's going to show me all of the questions, if I got them right or not, and it's also going to show me any of the feedback that the teacher has provided. So I'm able to read their feedback and listen to this. I'm able to go through as the student and see any questions that I got right and wrong, and I'm also able to see what the correct answer should be. If at any point your students let you know that they're not able to see their results or their feedback on how they did, you'll just need to go back into the setup tab, make sure you scroll down to the bottom and change that student setting field in order to allow them to see their results. Once you've done that and hit save, just ask your students to refresh the page that they're on and that's going to then allow them to see those results.